Um, this seems to be a popular um, thing to do. And I wanted to um, teach y'all how I would do it. Um, of course, um, with this type of medium or mixed media project, the sky's the limit as to what you can do. Now, I have tried out two different applications. And these applications here are, um, they give you um, like the patina look here. And then this one is called Victorian. And what I'm talking about is uh, Vintage is patina uh, inks that um, they come in a collection of three like most alcohol inks. And this collection here is the patina collection. Um, it gives you a patina look on mo all your metals and your jewelry and everything. And that is this color here. Now, the darker area right here, this right here, um, I added a little bit of caramel um, alcohol ink. Um, just to give it a little more, you know, aged look. Now, the next one that I did, this is um, called Victorian. It is um, like a real pretty purple, a vintage purple. Um, very pretty. And that collection will look like this. Let me put my lids on. The collection here, you have like a pastel blue, a pastel pink, and then you have this real striking purple. Um, called Amethyst and um, it's a very pretty collection here hello Miss Strawberry Rain hello Lady Love hello everyone I'm let everyone come in hello Angel Mom Pam hello hello who else we got there okay so I'm gonna let y'all choose um, which color you would like me to teach you um, how to do and what we'll be working with tonight. Pam says she wanted to do the purple. Did I get any other colors requests? I gotta wait because there's a lag. Okay, purple. Okay, I've gotten two purples. Okay, we'll do purple. Okay, now, what I've done for the, prof the purpose of what I want to do and how I want to alter it, um, I had my husband, uh, Danny, Danny, what size drill bit was used on this? Okay, he says it was an eighth inch drill bit, and um, he's going to go check so y'all know. Um, you will need a drill, and you will need a drill bit to drill holes into your spoon. Um, your crocodiles and your um, stuff like that will not punch through it. In fact, it would ruin those machines. Um... So, uh, my husband got a regular drill bit, and uh, we drilled. I drilled two holes here, one at the bottom, one at the top. I drilled one in the center, and then one at the bottom and the top uh, at the handle here. Um, when you do this, you need to be very careful, and definitely don't do it on your craft table. Go to your garage, or go to your... Um, uh, an area to work because there's going to be metal shavings uh, wear safety glasses and everything and um, put this on a piece of wood because when you drill through it's going to puncture whatever it's setting on so because you're really going to have a lot of force on it to get this drill bit um, through so please 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 be very careful 
um, when you try this. The Dremel does work, but I've noticed uh, real stainless steel spoons, um, not the cheapos, the real thick ones, it, the Dremel will not drill through. Uh, your more cheaper spoons or your more cheaper silverware, um, a regular drill bit with drill. What size was it? Actually, it was a 964, but it all depends on how big of stuff you're going to put through the holes. An eighth is uh, a 64 of the less. A one-eighth. A one-eighth drill bit. Okay. A one-eighth would work fine, or a 964. A 964? Yep. Okay, well, sticking with one-eighth, I understand that increment. Okay. So... Now, I'm going to show you how to um, paint this up. Uh, much like alcohol inks, you're going to use um, your Tim Holtz uh, little ink essentials handle dauber thingy. And you are going to use um, a piece of felt. And you're going to just... Put your purple now your purple is going to be your most dominant color because your other colors are very light so keep that in mind when you work with the victorian collection the patinaed i like to put a little more blue in there so i can give it a contrast and you're just going to do the tapping and uh, technique that tim's taught us like that we're just gonna tap 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 and I'm working on a piece of uh, canvas um, cloth for all of my types of applications like this because my Tattered Angels mat is seen better days. Um, I don't even think they make them anymore. I need a new one. This is actually my second one and I need a new one. Hello everyone. Now, again, you're just going to add some more of the color. I'm only going to add a few drops of the purple because it's very dominant. you can lighten it up and you can darken it up depending on how much of that purple you put on there okay I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna take now this is where it's gonna get messy because of the curvature of the spoon uh, your little dauber thingy here is not gonna work it's not gonna go in there and I'm going to heat gun this just a little bit just to set the color. Um, they're alcoholic. They're, they're like a, a cross between an alcohol ink and a paint. Um, I'm treating them the same way as an alcohol ink. Um, because 
they do, you know, they do the similar things. So. Okay. I'll be glad when I get a door on my craft room. Because I can hear my husband's TV in there. Hello, Virginia. All Okay, I think I've got it the way I pretty much want it here. Now, to give it a little more of a vintage look, I am going to add a little bit of caramel to the process. And I'm going to use just a regular um, sponge to do that. And I'm going to bounce it around like that. Kind of put it in this spoon there. Yes, I love this color too. The felt pads are washable. Well, I wish I'd known that a couple of hundred felt pads will go. <laughs> I'm going to go back and just add a little more. I like to build my backgrounds um, with my, um, you know, altered projects. You know, just kind of build them back up and then, because that's how you build, that's how you, um, you know, make it awesome. And now what I want to do is I'm going to add some more blue. I'm not going to add no more other color, but blue. And then I'm going to pull some more caramel in there. And you just sit here and you just play with it and you build it. So you get it the way you want it. Okay, now, I'm going to add just a touch of silver. This is silver alcohol ink. It's a mixative. Okay, um, you will need to get another little pad here. And I'm only going to put a few drops of silver.
going back in with that purple. And then a little more of the caramel. So there you go. Isn't that silver pretty? I think it's really pretty. I do, I do. I think it's Budimus. Budimus, Budimus. play with this a little bit more and then we're gonna get ready to alter this is a little more caramel then there you go I like it looks good to me there we go now I didn't do the back because the back's gonna be hidden so and you'll see why I added some silver here in a moment and the caramel because some of the elements that I want to dangle are silver and I just wanted it all to um, you know mesh well okay that's purple that's pink that's the blue okay right. oh where am I okay there we go Oh, hello, Candace. I'm seeing a lot of new people. Okay. So, in my montage of stuff over here, I'm just going to scoot it all over. I am going to flip this over here. And I'm going to scoot all of these goodies over here. Okay. Now, these are various... Um, goodies that I have uh, to, and I'm going to show you how to make some charms and uh, we're going to play around with uh, some chain. Now this chain here can be bought at uh, Miriam's Craft Supplies. She sells it like dirt cheap by the, um, the buttload and I thought it would be perfect for this application. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me a jump ring here. Yeah, let's see if I got a bigger jump ring. There's a one. Jump ring. And there's two. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm just going to bend this jump ring. Depending on the distance that you go, if the distance you go into your spoon will determine how big your jump ring needs to be. Okay? So that's just a, a little note there okay there we go we got that now I want to have this dangling kind of like this type deal you know where it dangles when you hang it up so I'm gonna take this jump ring and I'm gonna feed it through there like that Oh. 
<laughs> so you see what it's doing like that okay and then we're going to feed we're going to kind of get it even so I'm going to get another jump ring Oh, everybody should be getting their goodies, their um, alter, their metal hangers and little um, roses and their um, wood pieces for their product review kit. Um, because we are going to be working with those. So now all you're going to do is take your little scissor or whatever and okay you have got that oh let me get down here see yeah the sheets of felt yeah it is cheaper okay and then when I get this done I'm gonna take a piece of chain and then I'm going to run a jump ring through here and one through here and it'll be hangable. Okay. All right. Now, right here, I was playing around with this piece. This is a piece that you can buy at Miriam's. Um, she has a lot of metal pieces. And then I saw this huge piece and I'm thinking about painting it silver and putting that right in the center. Now this is a, uh, this can be bought from uh, Lavish Laces. She has the um, cameos and the cameo sets here and you just put them together and you can do them in different colors. Is it thundering? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my silver, go back to my silver um, alcohol ink. What is it asking me to do now? Okay. Can y'all still see me? Okay. I don't know what it's asking me to do. Alright. So now what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to add some silver because I want to paint. This is also from Miriam. And I'm just going to make it silver. Okay, you're going to flip it over and you're going to do both sides. Okay. Is that not pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. Oh, you're okay, Deb. Hello, Miss Deb. Miss Deb, she is absolutely the bomb. She's been uh, helping me get the NIG site together and. Oh, I can't wait to get that started. She's like a guru of um, NIG sites or something. That's what I call her, the guru of NIG sites. Now, I'm going to take this and I am going to put it right in the center there, okay? And I'm just going to simply use my hot glue gun to do this. And. Oh, 
long way to go. There we go. Now, I'm going to make this a challenge. Yes, I am. I'm going to challenge y'all to alter a spoon or a fork. I am, it don't matter. Um, I'm going to post a challenge on Facebook. And um, I want y'all to do it. Now look at that. Is that not pretty already? Is that gorgeous or what? Okay, now we got to add some goodies here. Okay. I love little things that, you know, like I got these little bead things here. Now what this is, the, I'm sure y'all have seen these before, but I will show you. Um, they are teapot pieces and they are beads. Um, and you get them like this. And then you go and you buy you the little rounded beads I do not know what size they are but I you know I would if you're going to go buy them I would take this with you and um, this is the body of them you know like that and then you just slip it in there and make the little pot and then put the cap on and then of course you make your own little dangle of the teapot right there so that's really cute now this stuff here is uh, Prima. This is Prima. These are Prima's little dangles. They have black ones and cream ones and white ones and all of that. And uh, I thought they would be really, really cute to um, play with as well. Also, these are some things that I just ordered offline. I pulled them out. Um, so I think I'm going to use the blue one actually because I think the blue one looks really pretty with it. Um, and then you can just, you know, just pull out your charms. Like we got a little clock here. I pulled out this real pretty uh, earring here. We can uh, do a dangle with it. You know. <laughs> you want some teapot okay now this one is a dangle that I created um, you would use what you do is you get these little eye these little uh, metal things that have an eye on one end and then of course it's not on the other and then um, you just fill it up with beads and stuff, you know, just like this. You put that. A lot of people use a lot of spacers. Um, I am just now getting into the, the bead thing. So, you know, you would just fill it up like that. And then... <clears throat> I think I have another pearl. Yeah. Okay, then you feed the pearl through like that. And then you just take your little needle nose pliers and you just bend that around so that it doesn't come apart. And then you hang it from this end, the hooked end. <laughs> I can't remember where I got them. I got them in one of those um, scrapbook clubs or groups online. This lady was selling them. So I grabbed me some. Yep, yep, yep. So now what we're just going to do, um, we're going to play with the stuff that we've created here. And we're going to use our little jump rings and... I'm going to start applying them on here. 
just like this. I think I'm going to have, I might put that there, I don't know. I'm going to make my little teapot. Yes, clubs and groups are getting me in trouble. I mean, have y'all not seen my video? Oh my lord. I don't know what provoked me to do that, but I did it, and it's the truth. You know, it's the truth, and I did it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Hmm. I think I want to use some piece of my bling. Let's, oop, let's see. Or, what did I do? Hold on. Yep, what about? Look at these. I created these with my bling. Um, I also have this little beautiful charm with the little bird in there. But these right here... I created using um, the Elizabeth bling and the um, bling trim and I am going to create a dangle off of this and how I'm going to do this I think I'm just going to simply adhere it to the chain with the dot of glue. I think that's what I'm going to do here. Ooh, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Me likey. Then I'm going to do my little bird cage. I think I'm going to need a bigger. Let's see. Okay, I have two. I have another big one. Yeah, right there. Oh, yes. A spoon swap. Whoop, whoop. This would be fun, wouldn't it? For a spoon swap, you know? And then I want to do something. Let's see how that would look. Yeah, I want to touch a blue in there because, I'm yeah, see, you can hang all your, um, your SWAT buddies' favorite charms or things about them on here, and, um, that would be awesome. Plus, this is fun. I think this is fun to do. Okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Let's see. Okay, I've got that, got that, got that. I think I'm gonna put... Hmm. I thought 
thought maybe I had oh you see these right here these are also by Miriam and you can um, paint them or do whatever you want to and um, the things would look good in there also my bling looks good with those and everything so it's just I think I'm gonna put a charm up here yeah this is a, a piece of Prima charm do you have to watch how you hang things so the spoon will hang right um no because what is hanging down at the bottom has nothing to do with what how you're gonna hang it at the top because you've drilled holes up here and you you've drilled holes up here and this is going to be this is what needs to hang right is up here down here is just you know like you know whatever you want to do and what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this up and hang it off of this charm i'm going to see how that looks and see that's another thing you can do you can hang things off of your embellishments like that see that just added a whole new look hang on I got it hung up now now you tell me how in the world that happened Okay. Okay. Well, what be dog? Good granny. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to pin this one up here like this close this and see and then I'm going to do the same thing right here that kind of gives me some different I would definitely get different size jump rings depending on uh, what you use um, as far as a a charm attachment so let's see where do I how do I want to hang this well no I want it just like that there we go see now that's looking pretty yep and then this, um, actually, I can bring up and not and shorten it some so that it would look more uniformed. So I'm just gonna undo this one. Yeah, who who got lost? Yeah, I've got a sale going on in the store with all my bling. See, I don't put them on. Okay. I see what just happened. Now, see, I told you things happen. Alright. If this happens and it, the hot glue comes off because of this, of the texture, then I would use a, um, I would use my... E6000 glue right here because it's made for stronger applications okay that stinks too okay. so um don't use hot glue to apply it. Use your E6000. Okay.
That's exactly what I would do. And just reattach your charms there. Then you're going to reattach here. That's one thing you've got to learn. Okay, for how long? Um, until CHA um, ends. Uh, use code bling CHA20 and you'll get 20% off of anything in the store. My bling and everything. So. Now I'm holding this down because that's the only thing I don't like about E6000 glue. It takes forever for it to adhere. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach this up here. But what I want to do is I'm going to take some clothes pins and I'm going to hold this down so I can do that. Just get you some clothes pins and hold it down until you get what you got to get done here. Okay, so we're going to bring this one up. Okay. Ooh, see it ends this. How many days is it? Three, four. It, the sale will last till Friday. Yeah, but I've done a video on uh, YouTube to teach you how to make your own little charms. Uh, these little beautiful bling pieces here, you see. Um, I did a video on that. And... What just started? Oh, the CHA, yeah. Today's the first day of CHA um, summer. Alright. Now I'm going to snip this off right there. There. There we go. Now, I'm going to put this back on. What is going on? Are y'all seeing this okay? Okay, we're just going to put that right in there, like so. There we go. All right. I am going to put my little teapot on there. 
like this. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, put the little teapot. I think I'm going to put another one of these on there, like that. Oh, and I got to show y'all a project I did. Um, I haven't showed anybody else yet. There's a little star. Um, because I just got done with it. Okay. This is turning out so pretty. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till this dries before I put this center one in. That's just going to have to be a... I have to wait till this dries. There is no getting around that. I'm going to attach that clock to that. Maybe a silver clock. Yeah, there's no commercials. Don't ask me. I guess they got enough uh, gripes about it. They got all. They got done. You know, got rid of all of it. About dang time. Stuff was annoying. We'll set it right in there. Hold on. Okay. That's really going to have to dry. Okay, so basically. What you do is you just keep adding and adding and adding when you get done. You know, like you can take these and actually create charms with them. Like you could put that down the middle. Um, she has a lot of beautiful pieces that you can do. Look at that. Um, and stuff. So. The sky's the unlimited with the stuff you can do. And then, of course, I have my bling. I have bling pieces. That would look gorgeous. I love my bling. I do, I do. And see, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. I have to say, I am worn out. I am so tired. Yeah, I mean, it's cute, you know, it's different. It's just something to do. I mean, it, it's, you know, you don't have to be perfect with it. You don't, you know, you can have fun with it and uh, create charms and stuff and when this dries, of course, I'll take pictures and I'll add uh, more to it um, because I can't do nothing right now until this dries, and that's the whole purpose. But do take care uh, when you do uh, drill into these. Please be careful because um, they will, it can get away from you, and you would definitely be going to the emergency room. <laughs> So, um, that's why I had my husband to help me, um, to drill holes through here. And again, like I d said on my video, um, I got all this at the Goodwill. Um, compliments of all the charms are to Miriam and Lavish Laces and, of course, my beautiful bling. I just love this piece here. 
and this piece and I got round pieces and then this is the this is the um, Elizabeth I really I think it's beautiful yeah all you need to do is take a sharpie and mark where he needs to uh, drill those and uh, you can, you know, do that. You can get as a labyrinth. Now look here. Um, now look at this spoon I found. With the... Now this is real sterling silver. This is real sterling silver. And um, the drill, I mean, you could punch. Um, in fact, if it's real thin sterling silver, let me show you something, okay? I've learned something here. If it's real, like arrows, my cat just fell off the table. If it's real, you can actually run it through your little hole punch here. Let me see. Like this. Hang on, I'm going to use my hand. Where's my hand one? No. Nope. Better yet. See, you can... I hate when things get them. If it's real thin like this, it'll go right through with your crocodile. Okay? If it's thick, like this, it's thick, and um, it'll say made stainless. I mean, this is sterling silver, okay? This is real. So, it will go through with um, this. This is super thick. This is one of them pop your, you know, you can pop somebody with it. It's real thick, hardy spoons. Um, you have to drill through it. And as you can see, you can get real elaborate with it. As I put dots all the way down the neck of the spoon. And, you know, you can hang that. And then see this? You can actually, since you've done that, you could leave this like it is. Um, you could put um, like a picture of a fairy right in there or something of that nature and then you could just hang a beautiful like let me get this You need to take the shank off the back of this so that it'll lay flat. Okay. And then I am going to put it right there in the middle like this. Okay, see, there's that. And then you can take a jump ring. Let me get a... I'm gonna need a larger jump ring. You're gonna take a jump ring, feed it through there. And then you can feed it through the end of the spoon. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Like that. So you can do that. 
Yeah, you know what, cat? You just put your paw on the glue gun. Now you glued your foot. What in the world? Are you serious? Yeah, you hurt yourself. <gasps> I love my cat, but my kitten's driving me nuts. He's all up in my Kool-Aid, trying to change the flavor. Okay, so. See, and then you can put a picture of a fairy, and you can actually take some of the, um, the bling, um, trim. And you can run it up the body of the spoon like that, which I think I'm going to do. Yep, you're over licking your paw. Because you got glue all over it. You're going to have to wait till I can get done with my show. <laughs> yes, you can do a Dremel. Um, I do have a Dremel tool, but I don't want to Dremel my table. I would have to take it outside into the garage and do it. Yes, you can use your Dremel. And um, I'm gonna put that glue. Yes, when the metal is too thick, there is a serious lag. I'm a dog. I'm gonna have to do this a little bit at a time. It's one thing about gluing on metal. With hot glue, it cools the hot glue very, very fast. It's almost like instant. And you have to glue it in sections. Yep, all my bling is on sale. Okay, you know what? I wish somebody would do a tutorial on how to properly close a jump ring and that would keep it closed. You would think putting it right back the way you opened it would keep it closed, but it don't. And I don't know why. But see, you can um, get very elaborate with it. Like a whole different style. You know. See that hot glue just mm. um, FYI when gluing again use your um, E6000 glue 
I'm just going to do this for the purpose of the show, but if it falls off again, I will have to use my E6000 and let it set there. See, there it goes. It fell off again. I don't get it. I do not get it. My fingers are sore from opening and closing these daggone things. So if y'all knew y'all are pros at this, everything in the store, Deb, everything in the store, get 20% off your entire purchase. Flowers, just, you know, anything in the store like that okay oh I want to show y'all my project that I just got done with ooh I just got E6000 on it color them Yeah, um, I have handmade flowers in there. Let's see, I got a couple out here. Here's one that's for sale. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. That's one. Um, cat, did you eat my flower? kinds in there um I think my cat took off seriously are you sitting on it oh yep I have beautiful flowers and stuff but yeah see we could do a, a spoon swap or whatever, and when the NIG site comes up, that could be um, a swap we do. And uh, we can play and um, do the do the spoons. Oh, and I want to show you something. Listen for a click. Two-plier method. Huh. Okay. Everybody got these, or starting to get these. These. This is the product review uh, product. And I was just thinking, you know, if you want to go, like, real elaborate, you know, you could actually take your product review hook here. Let me get this. And you could hook your spoon and wouldn't have to drill holes. And look at that. It would hold your spoon. See how pretty these are? It would hold your spoons. Or you could take the product review shabby chic rose clip like this look here you could this is a double clip thing here okay i'm gonna snip the little tag off now i can order these um, if y'all don't have them and you want them, I can order these. Now look here. You can take this clip and clip your spoon long ways. And you would have a rose um, for your clips. And see, I, that's what I love about these. I mean, you can change it up and clip a spoon or... You can clip your spoon this way and just play with them like that. But see, okay, let's see. Let's 
me a little snip this off. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you in a class how to do a little wall hanging um, to go um, uh, to go with your um, what you're doing here. So um, this little, um, I love these little hangers. There's actually like six different styles. Um, and one of them has roses on it. In fact, you can um, actually glue this rose on it and actually clip it or you can clip the rose from it. You can do a lot with these little things. And see, this would make an awesome gift too. So um, that's why I chose these because they're, um, they are very beautiful. And I think they do perfect for what you want to do them for do for them i love these little shabby chic metal ones yep so if you want me to i can order you some of these um i think i'm going to put these in the store uh different styles um they will be on order um because they do not stay in stock uh with my distributor because everybody uses them, everybody wants them, you know. And see, look, you can take this actually and clip a flower, and then have like a little dangy flower, you know, clip a little flower. Yes, a paper dress form, just anything. And I see that's what the product review program does. Um, that I started is it introduces you to products you would have never thought to try or use or have never seen or heard about or you've seen it but you didn't know what to do with it and that's what I tried to do and I thought these would be perfect because we're all into the mixed media um, genre right now and these are awesome so if you need uh, some of these um, let me know and see right here Guess what can go there? <gasps> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. What am I digging out? Look at that. It's bling. Bling, 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 bling. My bling will go anywhere. It is perfect. And then look here. For the little clips, like right here, you can get some Elizabeth. Or some Lillian or Bella. Let's see. Let's get some Bella. Look here. You could really dress that up and make it very shabby chic. Just like that. Boom. There you go. So. Um, classes for this is going to start next week because everybody should have their uh, little hangers and their little um, roses and also in your um, kit you got these little wooden butterflies we're going to work with and these little swirls um, we're going to work with actually these both would be beautiful on here as well. So going to have a lot to work with. <laughs> yes, um, just hook me up on uh, Facebook and let me know if you want it and um, I'll be placing another order um, and then I can because I have a uh, I think two ladies already wanting some. So I would love to see what y'all do with yours. Uh, again, I'm just going to show you suggestions. So this is the Q&A time. Do you or anyone have any questions? Ooh, what happened to my camera? Okay. There we go.
Uh, the cupcake class is on the last Monday of this month. Yep. Um, this class here. Oh. Yep. Right here. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful cupcake. Actually, it is a mini album. Slash little storage compartment. Very cute. Um, I remember I made this. This was like my third class when I taught. Uh, when I first began teaching uh, classes um, at my local scrapbook store. Uh, the price for these were, the kit was $15. Product review. Let me get my calendar out. Okay. Next Monday is the cupcake class and then the following monday on the fifth i'm gonna be um i'll do a youtube tutorial and i'll do a live class tutorial using the product review uh products i hate this lagging i don't know why Is that all the questions? I'm going to stop the recording and, um, and then I'm still chat though.